Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. <laughs> I am in frenzied creative mode because I'm signed up this year to do, um, well, don't sign up. You participate in Carve December, so the hashtag is Carve December. Some people are using 2020, some people are just using hashtag Carve December. But not, not only did I um, want to participate in that, but I also participated in, um, took a class for Julie Finfei Balzer, whose name I always massacre. Um, and I've been learning how to do different kinds of things when I carve stamps. Um, and so here are ones that I have featured on Instagram that I did. And see, it's either too much light or not enough. I cannot get it straight. If you hear two things in the background, well, it's three. One, we have a puppy. He may be barking. I think he's asleep, so we might not hear that. Second one is, is I have a Roomba who's um, doing her job. And the third one is my husband's watching a football game. So if you hear hollering and screaming at the TV, it's either good or <coughs> bad. <laughs> so please ignore the background sounds. I'm doing this in the middle of the day, which I don't usually do. All right, so let me get rid of that glare. My light is not the greatest. Okay, so um, anyway, these were done with um, uh, Speedy Carve, and I have the stamps. So what I do is when I have a project I know it's going to be temporary I get what's called a project basket I have these little plastic baskets and I put all the supplies that I use for uh, carving in here and after I carve the stamps at the end of the month which is like it'll go for the month of December then I will put all this stuff away and it will go in my stamp stamp drawer and these will be used in various books so what I usually put in here is all the rubber and as you can see I've been busy <laughs> and then I will put in this 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 uh, where's the other one and this and usually um, a pencil and a black stamp pad go in here along with let me get it off the table here my book, which um, is just a $5 book from Walmart. And I stamped one of the things that I had carved a year, years ago and glued it on the front because I didn't want it to be just plain black. And then it says, hashtag December carve, and it should say carve December. For 2017, 18, and 20, 2018 only has like, there's 2017 which was, I think, the first year. 2018, I last did... How long did I last? Fourth. Oh! The fifth, and then the last day. <laughs> the last... No? Oh, wait. There's the... Oh, I did more than I thought I did. Son of a gun! I didn't think I'd... Fa oh, I didn't. <laughs> I stopped at December 10th. That might be the 11th, 12th, or 31st, or I don't know. So I didn't make it through the whole the whole month of December in 2018. 2019, I think I carved one thing, and I didn't even bother putting it in my book. So this is my book for 2000. Oops, 2020. So I I put the original drawing, then I do the first stamping, the second third stamps to show that I've cleaned it up and then you know I did this in the this and played around with it um, I did not write down what the prompts were because I really didn't want to follow all the prompts so here is all the evolution of this stamp These pages I glued double together here's the original and here are all the jelly prints that I made with that I made with the stamp. I did them in different colors and in various stages of the evolution of the stamp so I could see how it went. The bird one wasn't that stinking interesting. I don't like the bird. I tried to do tessellating and it did not go very well. So anyway, um, then this was just some miscellaneous leftover piece of stamp that I did and I actually like it with a whole sheet of paper. It looks really cool. Then I did this one, which I'm not real thrilled about. So I may end up 
taking it and just cutting all this stuff out and leaving it as it is so that I can make other circles that will go inside of this. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. Six and seven, nothing to get excited about, especially seven, which I thought was a fail. Too much white. Six was a little harder to do because there were a lot of swirlies that overla overlapped, and that one was a bit of a challenge. Day eight, I did the, um, the cloud and the pot of rainbow at the end. Then I decided I had enough little pieces left. Let me move this stuff up here. I had enough little pieces left that I wanted to, to do something for edging. And it ended up, it, when I did it in the four sections, cut them out, I got myself a nice little frame. Um, this one, day 10, I was experimenting with small things and repeating patterns. I do like this one. And half of it is this and then turned around and stamped the other direction. I do like it. This one I saw in the class that somebody did the nice little carving with the little, I don't know. <laughs> Just, you know, what goes in my brain and what comes out my hand don't seem to be always connected. <laughs> this one, oh, I can't even talk about this one. All right, day 13 was another example of a small thing, a small little triangle, or a small leftover piece of rubber that I just did a repeating pattern. I showed how if you turn it different directions, you get different repeating patterns. This is kind of the same thing. Day 14, I like this one. And there's the, there it is right there. If you, this one belongs to another day, but Anyway, I'll show it. Um, here is the flowered one that was on Instagram. I just stamped the whole piece of paper. And the rubber is a 2 inch by 2 inch square. Well, that's that. And then I did this one, which I really like. Do I have the tag for it? I laid all the tags out here, and then I, keep, I shoved everything off. Okay, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> I like this one because it's so simple, and it makes cool little repeating patterns. So there's that one, and then there's the stamp in black for the cleanup, and then there's the finished product. And you saw that. This is day 15 where I did, I think these are an inch and a half by inch and a half. And it's this one turned another direction too. Um, and this one, here's the original drawing, and I ended up using this one and this one and that's what this is and that is no that one is not that but the other one is this one anywho do I have multiples yeah I do this is what it looks like when you stamp the whole stamp but you put this on the inside so it's turned this way and there's the two that ended up I ended up using this one and then this uh, this one right here. That was fun. I like the repeating patterns like this. Reminds me of linoleum floor, although these kind of remind me of teeth. <laughs> All right, day 16. Oh, what a mess. Okay, um, I carved this one. It was hexagon, and I had to go on to um, YouTube and have somebody explain to me in a video how to measure out and freehand a hexagon. And I did it on graph paper and it actually worked. And I was so excited that it made this. Look at that. Okay, so the addition is, I wanted something to fill in this big gap in here. Because I forgot that when you put edges like that together, you get a big white space. So I had the tiniest little piece. I think I carved this twice to get that that small. I mean, it's like the size of my fingernail. And then I stamped that in all the really white places and put the pointed part of the heart into the square so it would tone down the white because the white is very glaring. All right, so then I did this one and I stamped it and I really 
wasn't thrilled with it and I think I just cut it apart and I cut the dickens out of it I tried this and I mean I sliced that baby up until it got this small so it's like this part here I'll cut down in little sections I just slice that thing and pretty soon I thought if I don't stop I'm going to end up with a little teeny triangle with a big old two by two square wasted so I stopped it was really hard because I thought, oh, the good, the good part looks like that right there. <gasps> stop, stop. All right, this is day 17. I wanted to do something kind of girly-ish. That was a repeating pattern. And I like tulips and I like leaves and curly things, so I tried that. So there is the, I think that's the first stamp. Is that the first stamp? Yeah. And then here's the finished one where I added more stuff to it. And there's... It, it, it in green and here it is in a pattern. I kind of like it that way. I really like the, the patterns like this that are two by twos. All right, so here's day 18. Okay, I don't know what to say about this one. <laughs> I tried so hard. I watched a, a video that Julie Fenfei put out, Balzer put out for tessellating. She did leaves. I tried it and it was a big fat fail. It was big goose egg. Then I tried this and it looks good and it does repeat and I like it. This is day 19 where um, Marta, I can't remember her name on Instagram, something Marta's Art. Anyway, she does fabulous tessellating patterns and I was just waiting for the day when her video came up. So I did a tessellating pattern and I actually got the silly thing to work and I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I did a happy dance on a video conference <laughs> in my chair. All right, so this is just a repeat pattern that I like. I like the stars with the square in the middle and I put these on the edge and I realize that I'm putting too much white on the edges that maybe I don't need to put that much. So this is what it ended up looking like. I think maybe these white things should be thinner. I don't mind the big ones in the middle, but I think the stuff on the outside should be a little bit smaller. So there they are in black. And this is various colors as I'm trying to stamp the black off my stamp. <laughs> so there we go. So you're all caught up. That's day 19, and I can't show you what's on the other side there because I'm sure that's proprietary stuff. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is... Lord help me. Ooh, this looks bad. All right. There is a stamp that I did that's a repeating pattern. Here's the one that's the little seashell one. And there's another version of the seashell. And then I think this is the one where I did the one quarter of the stamp and I cut it apart. And that's what I ended up with. I really do like this one a lot. Here's another one. You know, I showed you in those in the beginning. Okay, so... Then, Santa Cindy sent me this stuff right here that was on my list on um, Amazon. It's called Falling in Art Soft Linoleum. And there's two of these that come in this purchase. And they're two um, 9 by 12 size, very soft lino, lino, whatever, linoleum, whatever you want to call it. And this is a gray two-pack. So I took it out, and I've been playing around with it like I have lost my flippin' mind, and I love it. All right, so let me see if I can find this stuff. Oh, there's oh, there's more of others that I did for tags. All right, on Instagram. All right, where are my... All right, here's the one that was the tessellating, the red tessellating one. This one right here. This is the original drawing. It got too complicated, and I decided I did not need to put all those lines in there because um, it was just unnecessary. So here it is, and I ended up cutting the top part off of that one. So here it is here, then here, then here. All right, so that one is the lino. All right, and then I carved... Oh, where is the other one I carved? See, that's the thing about doing impromptu 
impromptu videos is that you don't always have the stuff you need. Then I carved this one. I do, like I said, I do like the, the stars or the triangles with the thing in the middle. And where is it stamped? Oh, here it is before I did some alterations to it. I did go back and make some lines thicker. And then I chiseled out the triangles that were in the points here because you really couldn't see it. And I don't think it looked very good. There's that one. And then the one I did this morning, I am just crazy about that I cannot find on the desk because I am ill prepared for this. Where is it? <laughs> Here it is, oh, under my basket. All right, so then this one, this one is an oldie but a goodie. This is, I think, oh, I carved this one a couple years ago on um, Speedy Carve, if I believe correct, if I remember correctly. Now see, this lino stuff is very thin, not like, you know, this stuff. Look at the difference. So I, um, I really like this, but you have to be careful that if you gouge too deep, you'll just gouge right through the whole thing. Then once this was done, I printed it off on the paper. And you can, and the thing is, is that you can put something soft underneath it, but honestly, I think this needs to be on a hard surface when you print it. This is done with uh, Momento Tangelo. So there's this one. Uh, this one goes this way. No, it's this one. There we go. Uh, is it this one? Shoot. <laughs> this one. For this side, I didn't turn them. Anyway, so there's that. All right, so I thought maybe I would draw, because today's um, prompt for day 20, Lord, I hope it's the 20th, um, is, maybe today's the 21st, I don't remember. Anyway, is triangle. So I'm going to do a triangle. I'm gonna draw it, transfer it to the line of linoleum, and then I will carve it, but I will put it through fast forward because I don't want the video to be too, too long. So I will see you guys on the other side.
Okay, so there you go. Um, I cut a lot off of this. If you look at what this is and what this is, there's only a little bit left, but I cut it really big when I first started. So there's like maybe an eighth of an inch all the way around that ended up being cut up smaller than what this was. I went back because I didn't like how this was longer than here, so I went back and measured these, and they were an inch and a half, and an inch and a half, and I don't know what this is, I don't really care, but this I cared about. So um, I went back and I cut some of it off to make it come together a lot better, and I like it better smaller. So there's what the what the difference is between this one hanging down and then these being even. This way it looks like the flowers are going out. They don't look exactly the same. These are going one direction. And even though these look like they're going the same direction, if you look at the outer part, the leaves meet in here and it just, it, it's the reverse. Can you see it? They go out this way and this way. They're kind of just crossed. Anyway, so there you are for the um, the soft lino. I know I didn't quite get my leaf even there, but it's okay because I'm kind of happy with the way it looks, even though it's crooked. It works out pretty well. All right, this is it for me for a while. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.